Uh, Michael, um, last few games you've stepped into the lineup, played really well. Team's got good results. How are you feeling? I feel great, man. It's uh, it's exciting to be in this position where we're fighting every game, and it's very fun at the same time. So because every game is a playoff, and those are the games we want to play. Um, over that game, there's been a lot of changes defensively. Players on injured, players on international duty. You've stepped in, you played a number of different positions. How, how does he manage to keep that together to continue to get the results despite all those minor changes? I think it was a long time coming for this team. Uh, we, we've been playing really well, and just some results haven't fallen for us, I think. Uh, I stepped in when I did, and I think it just continued that. I think we just kept continuing to find our form, and it, it all came together at a good point. We got a good run, and we're doing really well right now. A couple weeks ago against Oakland, going down, man. Really held on to the game really well in the second half. You had a couple of key blocks uh, late in that one. How, how do you, as a team, uh, manage the game like that when you go down a man for 45 minutes? You have to keep moving on. Um, similar to all the unlucky streaks that we've had this year, we just have to find a way. We have to move on to the next play. Um, it was unfortunate, and I think we knew we still had to get a result at the end of the day. So we just keep our heads on it, and we fight to the 90th minute. Uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, uh, Loudon, the team you played for previously. Uh, what are you anticipating from that coming up? Uh, they're a very good team, and they're in a very similar position to us, so I expect them to have the same type of fight and will to win this game. But we, we've talked about it, we're ready, and we're all together on this one, and we're going to be uh, putting up a good game. It's on a really great stretch of form, seven games on the how have you turned that around from some of the less promising results earlier in the season to get out? Um, I think we trusted each other and we changed our philosophy. We were trying to have more fun while we were playing. Uh, that's what we were lacking at first. Uh, we put too much pressure on ourselves, I believe, and now we play more freely. Uh, we try to play as a team. Uh, we get along, we got to know each other also because the team was very new at the beginning and now we, we know each other and we enjoy playing with each other and so it shows on the field. Um, you and a lot of the other guys have talked about having more fun, playing more freely. How do you actually do that? Like it's great to say, but how do you make that come to life on the field? I think he came down from the coaching staff. They let us uh, uh, play with more freedom. They emphasize on it. And also, it's a mindset. I believe if you put pressure on yourself, you restrict yourself. And so now we can see players trying more stuff on the field. And uh, we have a talented team, so it works out pretty well. Uh, you've played a number of different positions over the course of the season. You've been on defense, midfield. Um, but how have you been able to make those kind of connections in the different areas of the game throughout the course of the season to make them better? Yeah, I think that's my role in this team. It's uh, it uh, fill, fill the gap for other people to to succeed. Um, I got some assists, and um, I'm I'm happy with it. I'm I'm really happy to help the team do whatever the team needs. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you mentioned getting so you picked up an assist in the last game. Uh, quick to that loose ball. Um, obviously, your calling card is is your defensive contributions. But how do you make that? Um, adjustment there to be kind of present and likely in the fourth part of the game as well. I think that's the, the team setup. Um, I'm higher up the field to win the ball back, and I win the ball back in the box, in the opposite box, and then I, I pass it to uh, to some good offensive player. So Kyle Edwards' last game, yeah. Um, and looking ahead to tomorrow game, tomorrow's game, Loudon, this is a real kind of classic six-pointer right next to each other in the standings. How do you approach that game knowing that you really want three points? Well, that's, that's like a playoff game before the playoffs. We, we know it. Uh, we prepare for it, and we look forward to it. Kind of an unexpected week off last weekend. Uh, how does that affect your preparation? You know, you can prepare for the game on Saturday, and then all of a sudden, can't go. Yeah, uh, we tried not to let it affect us, especially leading into this game. We trained hard last Saturday, just stayed in rhythm. Um, you know, gave them the normal days off, so it really didn't change our rhythm too much. Uh, we were able to control the environment a lot more, obviously. A little more straight line work instead of combative stuff. Um, but outside of that, it hasn't changed our rhythm. Uh, so you're preparing for this game. Two home games back to back coming up now. Um, real kind of six pointers, as they say. How do you feel about these two games 
as you close out the season? It's great to have meaningful games in October. First and foremost, you know, we're in the mix. Uh, we've been through a lot of ups and downs this year, um, but I really feel like we've stabilized the club and we're from a competitive standpoint in a place we've never been before um, in a full season. So that's an important step to take, uh, but the next step is right in front of us. You know, it's a day away, it's seven days away. Those two games, we have to treat these like playoff games. There's no other way to look at them. Uh, seven games unbeaten has really, as you said, stabilized the club, really taken you from a outside looking in to right on the doorstep. Um, you've talked a little bit before about, about kind of maintaining a, a one game at a time approach. Um, how do you how do you do that going into these games? As, as, as you can taste it, like mm -hmm. it's right there. How do you do that? Treat it as a playoff game. How do you make that? stick when you know that you're right there? Well, I think it happens naturally for the players, for the staff. Everyone understands the importance of these two home games because we have three and seven on the road to close the season. So if we leave it to then, uh, we're going to be climbing uphill. Um, and right now, we don't have to be in that position. We know that we can put ourselves in a much stronger position going into that period and kind of pick and choose our spots there. Um, so the one game at a time approach, I think, happens naturally when you have two home games in October that you know are six pointers, as you said. Uh, Loudon, obviously in the return fixture earlier this year, they were really in control. How do you see that playing out differently on Saturday? Yeah, there was some cross-country travel involved in that one. Um, I will say Loudon was fantastic on that day. They moved the ball really well. Uh, we weren't in the right passing lanes. We've made some adjustments. We weren't, um, you know, from a physical standpoint, the output just wasn't there that day for us, uh, which is not acceptable. But we realize that and we know that those two things being corrected uh, should make this a much different game. Uh, Loudon have had some close games against really good teams. The results haven't gone their way, but they've been right there with Louisville, with New Mexico, with Colorado Springs. Uh, what do you think they're going to be bringing into the stadium on Saturday in terms of their approach? Their energy level is is phenomenal. They have great players that have played for me, like Drew Scundridge comes to mind right off the bat. Um, but a lot of experience in their group. Their structure is good. They're well coached with Ryan. Uh, you know, he's had years and years of experience in this league, and that's valuable late in the season. Um, you know, kind of how to keep the games close, and they've done a great job of that against top teams. Uh, you've talked lately about some of the tactical adjustments you've made to kind of control the game a little bit more. Um, how do you see that matching up with Loudon on Saturday and what they bring that's maybe different than Tampa or some of the other teams you've played Well, they have great width. Um, you know, in dealing with that, I don't think you can take that away. Uh, there's good natural width in their team, and uh, they get good service. They created a, a big number of big chances um, compared to the rest of the league. I believe they're in the top three or four in the, the entire league, which is impressive. That means they're getting the ball into the right zones consistently uh, in every game. So taking away some of that service, taking away some of the service areas so we don't even have to deal with the service, uh, that becomes really important to us on the defensive side of the ball. But we've also been better uh, recently at controlling the flow of the game um, and dictating where the ball is on the field um, by controlling possession.